Hi all, today we are going to discuss about reflection from terminal inductance. If the line is terminated by an inductance, how the reflection is going to happen. Let us take let Zc is the characteristic impedance of your transmission line and let us assume an incident wave is kept on this transmission line having a voltage of E, E is the incident wave. So when it reaches the terminal, let us assume this voltage across this inductance or your load I am taking as El and the current passing through this inductor or your load so I am representing by IL. So some part will be reflected back also let us assume the wave that is reflecting back so that I am representing by I suffix R. R stands for the reflected the current wave. So and let us assume the incident voltage wave is a constant magnitude wave that is why I can represent it by E it is not varying with respect to time. So we can tell at the terminal load or the load we can define the value of voltage at the load is equal to or the amount of voltage that is transmitted will be equal to L into di by dt. So L into dil by dt. Il is the current passing through the inductor. Let us take it as equation number 1. So we can tell the value of the total current that is transmitted. Il is nothing but the value of the current that is transmitted. So let me just change this. So the value of the current that is transmitted will be equal to the incident current plus the reflected current. At any point if you want to calculate the total current, total current will be the sum of the incident current plus reflected current. So that gives my total value of current at that point or the transmitted current at the particular point. So we have already seen this the value of I or the incident wave will be the incident voltage let us take it as small e divided by the Zc. So this we have already seen in our first lecture. So equation for the traveling wave. So there we have discussed this. You can refer to that lecture if you have doubt. Minus ER divided by Zc because IR the reflected value will be minus ER by Zc. So this is the value we have already seen. So let us take it as equation number 2. So what I am doing I am substituting equation number 2 in equation number 1. So when you substitute equation number 2 that means in place of IL or this IL I can replace with this one. So let us see what will happen if I substitute this one. So if you substitute you will get it as EL is equal to L into D by DT of that IL is nothing but E by ZC minus ER divided by ZC. Getting this one? So this EL this is nothing but E plus ER because the voltage at any instant will be the incident voltage plus reflected voltage. This is already moved. So same thing I have substituted. This will be equal to L into D by DT of E by Zc minus ER by Zc. So let us take it as equation number 4. So now I am rearranging them in such a way that my component of ER related components will come to one side and E components will come to another side. So this I am writing here when I am rearranging them. So this will become ER plus L by Zc into DER by DT. So this will be equal to minus E plus L by Zc into DE by DT. So let us take it as equation number 4. So we know as the incident wave E is of constant magnitude that is capital E. So automatically the value of DE by DT will be equal to 0 because it is of constant magnitude and E can be replaced by capital E. So I am substituting in equation number 4. So this equation number 4 becomes ER plus L by ZC into DER by DT reflected value by dt is equal to minus capital E and this dE by dt becomes equal to 0. So this term becomes equal to 0 up to here it came. So this I can rearrange dER by dt will be equal to minus E plus ER and this L by ZC I can bring to the second side this becomes ZC divided by L. So this I can further simplify dER by this one this I am taking to denominator dt taking to second side this I am taking in the next page. So this will be DER divided by E plus ER this will be equal to minus ZC by L into DT. So let us take it as equation number 5. So I am doing the integration on both sides when you do the integration on both sides it will become LN of E plus ER 
will be equal to minus zc by l into t plus a so this i am taking as equation number 6 so a is some constant so a I have to evaluate from the initial conditions we know the property of the inductor is whenever the suddenly some surge comes because the surge means that is equivalent to the infinite frequency so the inductor acts as a open circuit that means at the time t is equal to 0 that means when the switch is closed or the wave has traveled or reached the terminal so at t is equal to 0 so inductor acts as open circuit so when it acts as a open circuit entire wave will be reflected back so reflected voltage wave will be equal to e so we have already discussed the line terminated by a resistance when that line terminated by the resistance that resistance value is equal to infinite we have seen the reflected voltage is equal to e you can please refer to my lecture on the line terminated by a resistance so there i have discussed this proof for this one so i am just substituting the same thing here when you are substituting in this equation this will become ln of e plus the reflected value now becomes equal to e so this is from equation number six i am just substituting this will be equal to minus zc by l this will be multiplied by time is equal to zero so this term becomes zero plus a so or from this i can tell my value of a is equal to ln of 2e so this one i can substitute in equation number four equation number six right equation number six so now equation number six becomes ln of e plus er is equal to minus zc by l into t plus ln of 2e so this ln of 2e i can bring to the second side this is ln of a minus ln of b will be equal to ln of a by b so this i can simplify it ln of e plus er divided by sorry this will be e plus er because ln of a minus ln of b so that will become ln of a by b right so ln of e plus er divided by 2e this will be equal to minus zc by l into t this is what we get so in order to convert this logarithm to the exponential if you convert so you will get at e plus er divided by 2e e plus er by 2e will be e to the power of minus characteristic impedance by l into t this is what we got so from this i can calculate my value of er er will be equal to this is 2e into e to the power of minus zc by l into t and this e will come to the second side this will become minus e getting this one so this e i can take out and simplify it so that i am doing the simplification here so this will be written as er is equal to e into 2 e to the power of minus zc by l into t minus 1 so let us take it as equation number eight so we got the equation for the reflected value so what is the value at your load or the transmitted voltage will be incident voltage plus reflected voltage so this will become equal to incident voltage is e plus reflected voltage is e into 2 e to the power of minus zc by l into t minus 1 so what will be the value 2 e into e to the power of minus zc by l into t this is my equation number 9 so similar way i can calculate my value of the il the current passing through the load will be equal to i dash plus i double dash or this is nothing but incident voltage by zc minus reflected voltage divided by zc so if you substitute the value you will get it as 2e by zc into 1 minus e to the power of minus zc by l into t let us take it as equation number 10 so let us try to summarize how these equations or the wave comes so this wave i am representing so with respect to the time how the things are varying let us assume i am representing some line this is equal to minus e so let us take this as plus e and let us take it as plus 2e so i am just extending the lines from here so this is corresponding to e and this is corresponding to minus e okay let us take one by one wave now so i am taking different colors for different things so let us calculate or see for the case of the reflected voltage so reflected voltage is here the reflected voltage at time t is equal to 0 e to the power of 0 becomes 1 this becomes 2 minus 1 this will become e 
that means at t is equal to 0 it becomes e and at t is equal to infinite the t is equal to infinite e to the power of minus infinite will be 0 this becomes minus e that means it will start from plus c it will gradually decay and it will reach minus e at infinite so this is my reflected voltage wave so now coming to the transmitted voltage wave so transmitted voltage wave is given by 2 e e to the power of minus zc by ln to t that means initially its value will be equal to 2 e and from there final value will be e to the power of minus infinity will be 0 so finally it will reach 0 so that's why its wave will come like this so this will come so this is my value of the transmitted voltage so you can represent it as et or the voltage across your load el getting this this is over so now coming to the case of the current how the current is varying so the transmitted current will be 2e by zc into 1 minus e to the power of minus zc by l when t is equal to 0 the current becomes 0 so current becomes 0 it will go on increasing and it will reach a point of 2e by zc so the current will go on rising from here current will go on rising and it will reach some point so it will stabilize so let us take the point that where it is stabilizing so where it will stabilize this will be equal to 2e by zc so this is the point of 2e by zc so at that point it will stabilize so this is the value of the current so we can tell that in an inductor initially inductor acts as an open circuit so total voltage becomes two times and gradually with respect to the time the voltage goes on decreasing and the voltage across the inductor reaches zero that means it will act as a short circuit and the current so gradually goes on increasing and up to what value the current will increase it will increase up to 2e by zc so up to that much level the current will goes on increasing so i hope up to here it is clear to you let us see how the traveling will wave will respond with respect to time so this traveling wave at different instances so let us assume i am taking at the instant just before time t is equal to 0 so incident wave is coming like this this is at x is equal to l or the line that is terminal this is at the sending end so after some time what happens it will go and this will touch the this one and start reflecting back so when it start reflecting back so the reflected value becomes two times of e and it will go on moving that 2e will go on moving in the back side or this is my value of the voltage at some instant getting it so this is my value of the trans total value of the voltage so this is my total voltage so this will come like this and if you want to calculate the reflected value reflected value starts from er and it will go on decaying this is my value of reflected value of voltage after some time so let us take this magnitude as e and this is at x is equal to l so after some time what happens the wave will move further so accordingly this upper magnitude will be same because wave will reflect back the wave is reflecting back accordingly the magnitude will change so if you draw after some time so how this wave will come so the wave has reached some more distance so it has reached up to two times of e from here it will go on decaying like this or that reflected voltage will goes on decaying like this. this is for the reflected voltage and this is for the total voltage total voltage getting it so this way it will go on moving so this way you have to analyze the voltage wave so practically the value of the single inductor will not be there always practically the inductor means inductor will have some value of the resistance also so let us assume i am having a resistance of rl rl is a resistance of the inductor and l is the inductance of this coil so i want to calculate what is the value of el in this case because practically it will not have simple value of the inductance this is r naught so i want to calculate different values so the equivalent circuit will be like this so this can be represented by 2e r naught and from this i can calculate my value of el and how much value of the reflected voltage is there so in this case i am directly writing the answer if you want you can make the derivation you will get the same answer so e divided by rl plus r naught into rl minus r naught plus 2 times of r naught e to the power of minus rl plus r naught divided by l into t this is my value of reflected voltage so this reflected voltage you can see what is the value at time t is equal to 0 so the value of er or the reflected voltage will be 
t is equal to 0 means this term this pair becomes 1 so this will become 2 times of r naught minus r naught this will become rl plus r naught rl plus r naught in denominator will cancel so reflected voltage will be equal to e that means the reflected value of voltage will be equal to e because the inductor act as an open circuit so even though rl is there this entire circuit behaves as an open circuit reflected voltage will be e so total voltage el will be equal to incident voltage plus reflected voltage so if you want to calculate the el will be equal to incident voltage e plus reflected voltage so this will become e plus e this will become equal to 2 e at time t is equal to 0 getting it so now at time t is equal to infinite that means under steady state conditions the value of the reflected voltage will be e to the power of minus infinite will be 0 so this will become e multiplied by rl minus r naught divided by rl plus r naught getting it this is the reflected value of the voltage so from this you can calculate the value of el el will be equal to e into 1 plus rl minus r naught divided by rl plus r naught so this value will be equal to 2e into rl divided by rl plus r naught this is what we get so the same thing you can apply here at infinite time the inductor acts as a short circuit so voltage will be equal to 2e multiplied by load resistance divided by total resistance so entire thing came so you may be having some doubt why i am writing r naught some places jc some places both are one and the same because if i i can represent even with the jc also both are one and the same different books follow different notations because i am following from different things so that's why sometimes confusion comes i hope that how this thing is clear to you so let us take one small numerical so that this complete concept will be clear to you it is given there a 100 kv 3 microseconds rectangular surge travels along the line terminated by an inductance of 2 milli henry determine the voltage across the inductance and reflected voltage wave if the surge impedance of the line is 400 ohms so these are the data so it is given there the value of zc is equal to 400 ohms l is equal to 2 milli henry 3 t is equal to 3 microseconds and e is equal to 100 kV. This is what is given. So, voltage across the inductor or the traveled voltage, transmitted voltage will be, I am directly using the formula 2e into e to the power of minus zc by L into t. So, this will become equal to 2 into 100 into e to the power of minus. The value of zc is 400 into t is given as 3 microseconds. So, 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and the inductor is given as 2 milli henry so 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 so this will be in kv so if you calculate this you will get it as 109.76 kv so this one got so now the reflected voltage so reflected value will be equal to the transmitted value minus incident value because transmitted value is equal to incident value plus reflected value some of the two waves will be value of the wave at any point instant so this will be 109.76 minus incident is 100 so this will become 9.76 kv so this way you have to calculate i hope what is the reflection at the terminal of an inductance and a rl load is completely clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much